Today, we're going to talk about ICE licensing and the changes in licensing that have come about as part of the release of ICE 3.0. With ICE 3.0, the licensing model has changed, and this video will detail those changes. First, let's get rid of this text. We'll come back to this later. Next, the names have changed. Base is now Essentials, Plus is now Advantage, and Apex is now Premier. The name changes make sense and now align with the Cisco DNA Center style of licensing. The other great thing to come from aligning with this type of licensing is the nested DAW model. Now all features from Essentials are included in Advantage. The Premier license includes all features from both Essentials and Advantage. Due to some of these changes and alignments, some features have either been renamed or moved. Cisco TrustSec and Adaptive Network Control have both moved up a tier and changed names. TrustSec is now in the Advantage tier and is named Group Base Policy, while Adaptive Network Control is in the Premier tier and named Rapid Threat Containment. MSC integration has been given the proper name of Location Visibility and Enforcement, which makes sense since MSC is end of life. A couple new features have been introduced as well. Endpoint Analytics Visibility and Endpoint Analytics Enforcement. To make room for the last feature, I'll move the interconnect information over here. Now I can add User Defined Network as the first cloud feature. This brings us to the change everyone has been waiting for. The lowest licensing level is no longer a permanent license. ICE Essentials is a subscription-based license now. Once you upgrade to ICE 3.0, your licenses will be converted to the new tiers and your base licenses, which are now Essentials, will expire on October 31st, 2023. Since all access licenses are now subscription licenses, tax support and software upgrades are included for the length of the subscription, including an Essentials-only deployment. TACAX or device admin only deployments will still need to purchase services for this support. Saving another big item for last, from version 3.0 onward, all ICE licenses will be smart licenses. No traditional licenses will be available in the new licensing scheme. Here are the resources from which I've built this video, and I'll put the links in the description below. Please comment with any questions or feedback. Thank you.